Church, happy Easter Monday. You know what a glorious week here at St. Walter's. That's why most of my staff and a lot of staff people around the world today in Christianity are taking a day off and sleeping. <laughs> I will do that after this. <laughs> but today, I, 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 I want to give you the message of Jesus today. Do not be afraid. Look at this relentless grace that we have, whose name is Jesus Christ. You know, his words utters again the very opposite of fear. What is happening in the second part of the reading is fear of the chief Paris, uh, of the Pharisees, of, of the scribes, of the high priests. It's fear and the opposite of faith, of surrender, of trust is fear. Huh? Fear, false evidence appearing real. Oh, nobody loves me, Father Mario. False evidence appearing real. God is mad at me, Father Mario. False evidence appearing real. Cancer, disease, arthritis, uh, you know, will defeat me, Father Mario. False evidence appearing real. I cannot forgive myself. False evidence appearing real. I cannot forgive that person. False evidence appearing real. And that is the mission of the enemy, to make us afraid, afraid, afraid to risk, afraid to love, afraid of letting go of the shadows that we all carry. And Jesus comes with his wounds and telling us, assuring us once again, do not be Afraid. You know, when I'm called upon to visit a dying person, usually at the Election Brothers Hospice, one of those words that I assure the dying person is do not be afraid. You are surrounded by love. Do not be afraid. This family will not only survive, but will thrive because of your love that has been given to them. And usually, when they hear those words from the family themselves, they let go. Church, where are you afraid right now in your life? 